Hi, I'm Virginia County Systems, and today we're going to be introducing our newest Unisub product. This is our Chrome Lux piece, and what's so cool about it is that it has Chrome Lux coating on both sides. So we'll be able to do two different images, and then we'll be using our, this is our AccuCutter Precision Roller. We're going to be creating a bend and making a self-standing photo frame. I brought one with me that I've already pressed. You see that we are able to do two really neat looking images. Chromalux is always just a very nice high quality product. And I have some other examples out here. So let's get started with the press. I've brought my piece of Chromalux. I have two different images and I'm going to be pressing those at the same time. So I brought some Pro Spray to help. You can cut your images if you would like. You do not have to. And a sheet of protective paper. So what we're going to do first is lightly mist our image so that we can apply the substrate. So I'm going to grab some Condi Dye Trans Pro Spray, lightly mist over my image, and we'll be able to apply our piece of Chromalux. It's nice and centered. I'll do the same thing with my other image. You'll want to be sure to do this over a trash can, for example, just anything so that you're not going to ruin your floor surface because the pro spray can be very sticky and it can build up and ruin your floor surface. What I'll do next is align my other side. You can do a fold if you'd like. I happen to have my images cut for me. But either way, whatever makes you feel comfortable, as long as you have them perfectly aligned. So I'm going to open my press first, grab a sheet of protective paper. If it's large enough, you might need a couple of sheets. I'm going to just fold this over since I'm only doing one item right now. I'll grab my dual-sided piece of Chromalux, fold over my protective paper, make sure that I can cover both sides. And it should be just the right size. We're going to do a press today. We're going to do both sides at one time. You'll want to refer to the instructions for the most current updates and also what's going to work with you and your equipment. So we're going to give this a quick press. We'll let it cool and we'll move on to the really fun part, which is actually giving it the nice bend. And that sound means we're done. So let's lift and swing away on our press. Go ahead and remove our transfers right away. We'll give it some time to cool, and then we'll be able to move on to actually making it stand up by itself. Now that our piece of Chromalux has had time to cool, we get to move on to the fun part, which is using our AccuCutter Precision Roller. And we do have a video with all the details and information, so you want to be sure to check out that video as well. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create a nice bend, and we'll have a self-standing image. With the AccuCutter Precision Roller, today I've already had it set to all of the different settings that I'm going to need as far as my thickness and my size and my curve go. Again, check out that video because it will tell you everything you need to know about this roller. But for right now, with it already adjusted, I'm going to place my piece of metal in and we'll be able to do a crank. And it's very easy to do. You'll see that it starts forming a nice curve. We'll just give it a few rotations. And that's going to give it the final look. We finished our product today. And again, this is the first time we've had Chromalux in two sides. And it's a very, very hot new item. We have four different sizes available, so be sure to check all of them out. And again, also watch the video on how to use this AccuCutter Precision Roller because it is a very cool tool. For all of our tips, products, and services, be sure to check out our website at Condi.com and watch more of my videos at ConditV.com. I'm Virginia Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.